Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about these little cuties here and uh, how we found them and the whole process of rehabilitating them and uh, getting them ready to go back into the wild and everything that's happened the week we got them. So right now I'm going to show you where we found them. So right over here is where we found the squirrels. One was laying about right here where that leaf is and the other one was maybe 10 feet away uh, by this little patch of dandelions. And they were laying there, not moving, super cold. So we think that they had a nest in this tree and the crazy windstorm that came must have knocked them out of there somehow. And uh, thankfully they survived the fall, but we think that their mom might have been the squirrel that we found hid on that road a couple days prior which all would kind of make sense. Um, but yeah, this is where they were when we found them. So yeah, we found them about a week ago and we've been uh, playing with them, feeding them, cleaning them, making sure they're good uh, since then. And we think they're about six weeks old. Let's, let's get them out. Come here. You can see they're starting to climb already. Come on, come here, baby. Oh, it's okay. See, they kind of curl up and perch on your hand. And they'll just chill there. So we'll put them on their little feeding slash potty blanket. Say hi, Josie. Hi. Originally, we thought they were both boys. But, uh, oh no, look, she thinks that's the nipple. She thinks my finger's the nipple. No, you'll get it soon, honey. Uh, but now we realize we have one girl and one boy, a sister and a brother. And uh, we don't have any names for them yet. Put some name suggestions down in the comments for us. They're just kind of chilling you, climb up your body, hang out. They're really, really chill, and they seem to like uh, human contact a lot, honestly. So this is how we feed them. We put a puppy milk formula into a little feeder, and you see they grab right on just like a nipple, and they'll go to town. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. You'll get your turn. No, get off. You'll wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. They're so cute. The girl that I'm holding right now, she seems to have a lot more energy than the boy, but she usually eats more, so it's really good that he's eating a lot right now. That's good to see. He likes to just sprawl out like that and just focus on eating. I don't blame him. Now we read online that after six weeks, which is what we're estimating they are now, they can start with solid foods. So this is the first time we're gonna see if they want any solid food. Hey, get off him. Hey, be nice. Let's try a sunflower seed, okay? Look, look. Look, Okay, come on. No. You know what? I give it to her. Sunflower seed? She's biting the seed. Oh, she took a bite. She chewed it. This one? Yes, take more. Wait, Go which ahead. one I already ate? That one. Uh, he already ate. Well. Give it to her. Here. Here. She took a little nibble. Now it's her turn. And she gulps it down. She eats really well. Good job. You fool. You can see he just peed. We used to have to use Q-tips to stimulate them to use the bathroom, but they've started using the bathroom on their own, as you can see, which is a good sign that they're developing well. Now, when it gets down to empty like this, you gotta angle it so she can get every last drop. Go ahead, baby. Yeah, but then they drain it so fast and it goes up their nose. No, she's doing good. That's everything, I think. All right, we gotta refill, I'm sorry. I'll let you get the last couple drops. Squeeze them out for you. Okay, that's all for now. They're pretty lively, definitely getting bigger, and seem to be healthy. Eating a lot every day and uh, using the bathroom consistently. Solid foods, we got a little nibble, but that's just a start. Hopefully we can start putting them on to solid foods because that's a big part of uh, rehabilitating, rehabilitating them and getting them ready for the wild, so. Okay, time to go back inside. We got some cedar chips and a nice sock for them to cuddle up with. Come on.
they cuddle up in there and find the warm spot. And that's pretty much their daily activity. We feed them four to five times a day and make sure they're all good. Uh, I'm going to do weekly updates on them, show you their progress and how they're coming along. Uh, should be six more weeks until they're released back into the wild. So as you can see, they're getting comfortable with each other. Probably going to sleep off this meal and this activity till the next one. Hope you guys come back in a week and check out their progress. Peace.